Hey fellow reading warriors and welcome to this week's bonus video. My name is Laura and today I will be doing the booktube about me tag. So I was tagged by Anna over at Enchanted Reader to do this tag and it's just to help um, tell people about who we are outside of our passion for reading books and talking about literature and I thought that was such a great idea to do because um, I have gained some new subscribers recently and I've been doing a lot of changing around on my channel and trying to you know reach out to more people and um, have more connections with other people who enjoy reading and so I feel like it's a lot easier to connect to someone about a passion that you share if you actually like know who that human is outside of reading and just like flat out being a human so I'm super excited to do this tag. Uh, so like I said my name is Laura and the first question on here is what do you study or like what do you work in where do you work I am currently an undergrad student in Minnesota I just switched to being an English major creative writing French and translation minor I used to be an Arabic major Russian French translation minor and that is because um, so I have a passion for language and literature as well as language and culture and I so I really wanted to kind of be a translator or even an interpreter, and I really liked that, but just after exploring options, I realized that I really want to translate literature. I think that would be an amazing thing for me to do. It combines both of my passions of language and culture and literature. Um, so that's why I was taking Arabic and Russian and French. I've also been speaking Spanish since first grade, so I, I know a couple of languages. And um, I really want to keep expanding, especially to some not as well-known languages or more specific languages, such as um, like Farsi or Hausa or um, you know, like Kyrgyz, Kazakh, kind of more regional languages or languages just in a country because I really want to translate literature into those languages so that kids and adults can have books to read in their own native language so they don't feel like they either can't read or they have to learn a language in order to read. So I just really want to make books more accessible to the world, especially since here in the United States and in a lot of other English-speaking countries, there's a lot of really good literature as well as other countries are producing literature that the United States doesn't really read, or at least not not what I feel like we do. We don't read a lot of translated works, so I really would like to change that as well, because I think there's a lot that we can learn if we were to read uh, translated works from other countries. Also, I'm so sorry for my neighbors. It's a very echoey hall, so anytime I try and film and they make noise, there's not much I can do about it. Moving on to question number two. What is your favorite social media platform? I think not in I don't want to say not including YouTube because I do watch a lot of YouTube but I do more things on Instagram um, because Instagram pictures generally have such a beautiful aesthetic and I'm trying to figure out like a consistent aesthetic for my Instagram pictures so I've been having a lot of fun experimenting with that lately um, and it's I, yeah I've just been making more connections over Instagram specifically on my bookstagram account so I think that's my favorite I don't like snapchat I'm not on TikTok and I kind of refuse to get on TikTok. Uh, I am on Facebook, but everyone that I know on Facebook is like older family members. <laughs> so it's, it's not quite my favorite. <laughs> the third question is, if you had another YouTube channel, what would it be? What would you do on it? And I think I would do music. I have, a, I have another kind of passion for music. I've even thought about starting another YouTube channel with music uh the thing is is that the music that i would be doing either doing covers of or even writing myself is very specific and not very popular it'd be kind of more celtic type music irish scottish gaelic um you know a lot of it kind of tends to fall into that fantasy it could be used in like video games or indie fantasy films um like, I just, I have a passion for my Irish culture and my Scots Gaelic culture, and I think the music is absolutely gorgeous, and so that's something that I would want to bring into my life. I have a friend 
who actually is a, uh, she has a YouTube channel where she posts music. And she doesn't quite do like Gaelic music like I'd be doing, but her voice is gorgeous and she does do kind of similar style of music. So if you're interested in a very small but just beautiful singer slash uh, music composer, I'm going to link her down below. She is Silver Flames. You're on YouTube and oh. I fangirl over every single video that she releases and she never tells me when she's releasing them so I always have to find out with everyone else and I'm just oh gorgeous anyway number four do you play any instruments I play the ukulele I took piano lessons I play the flute and piccolo and um, oh I took guitar lessons I still kind of play the guitar not quite as much and then I've been dabbling around on ocarinas uh, lately and I also got a kalimba for Christmas so I've been dabbling around on that as well um, so just a few <laughs> uh, like I said in the, for the previous question I really enjoy music so I'm trying to teach myself some more interesting instruments in case I ever do want to either make a second YouTube channel or just record songs for my own fun yeah Question number five, what are some of your other hobbies other than reading? See, this is a really hard question because I had a lot of other hobbies that I don't do as much anymore because I've been focusing on reading more. I also like to write. Um, I do have an interest in writing books. I've been trying to write a novel, but I can never see my projects through to the end. So I've got like 10 different books started, none of them close to being finished. So there's that. Um, I'm also a Zumba instructor. So I teach two Zumba classes a week. Zumba is a dance fitness that's based on Latin and a little bit of African music and movements. Um, so I guess that's another hobby that I do, but it's also a job because I'm an instructor. I, I do it twice a week. Um, otherwise, I grew up uh, being a dancer as well as a fencer. So I used to be <laughs> super like athletic, not super sporty, but like dancing and fencing will kick you into shape if you do it right. So I used to be okay <laughs> physically. Um, so those are some of the hobbies that I used to have, but now I really just focus on reading, writing, and school. School is not just school, it's also a hobby because if I don't treat it like a hobby then I'm failing at school. Number six is what are your favorite TV shows? I, hoo -hoo, I love, so I love crime TV shows. I love um, the Rookie, I love Criminal Minds, I love Rizzoli and Isles, I love Castle, those are a couple older ones. Um, I love Psych, I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine, um, so some, I like all kinds of crime shows, but I also watch The Great British Baking Show, and Forged in Fire, and Face Off, and those, so those are more competition-based shows. I used to watch um, like actual shows with plots and characters, I used to watch those a lot, but right now just not quite as much because those can like really suck me in and I can't afford to have that during school so for now it's just a bunch of crime and competition question number seven what got me into reading uh, fun fact when I was younger I hated reading I just I did not like it and then uh, my my school did that you know whole required reading thing and I read the cat warrior series and that's what actually kind of sparked this oh Reading isn't that bad. Reading is actually interesting and kind of exciting. Uh, but my parents both are really big into listening to audiobooks, and so whenever we went on long car drives, which was a lot <laughs> growing up, uh, we would always listen to a book in the car. So I was never like against audiobooks, but I was against reading for uh, quite a while until like the end of elementary, kind of early middle school. Um, <laughs> So I think it was a combination of my parents listening to audiobooks whenever we drove all around the United States or just reading Cat Warriors. And that's also why, partially why, I am a reading warrior is dedication to the Cat Warrior series for getting me into reading as well as like nowadays with so many other like movies, television, other hobbies that we can have. Um, sometimes it can be a battle to find time to read or at least it can be for me just right now. So that's why I'm a reading warrior. Hey, hey, hey. And that's why I call all of you guys reading warriors. That's why I greet you that way because, you know, you're strong. We are band together. We are an army to keep reading alive and well, I guess. 
Question number eight is what is your favorite and least favorite genre? Favorite genre, I love fantasy. Um, and I've been getting into mythology fantasy quite a bit uh, recently. I also like dystopian. I haven't read too much of dystopian recently, but I really like it. And then a new favorite is historical fiction. Um, I did a whole year last year, 2020, <laughs> um, where I read a different genre every month. And then I did a wrap up for every month and kind of gave my thoughts on the specific books, but as well as uh, the genre itself. And so some of my least favorites are... Well, I hate nonfiction. <laughs> I don't like a lot of contemporary. I will read it occasionally, but that's not something I will consistently read, and I will be very picky about the books when I do read them. And I'm also really not into mystery. I think I would like to start reading more thriller, and I think I would like thriller, but I'm really not interested in mysteries uh, because I feel like I can't read them fast enough, and then they take forever, and then they get boring, and I get annoyed. Sorry. Uh -huh. Question number nine, what books defined your childhood? As I mentioned earlier, Cat Warriors definitely defined my childhood as that was something that actually made me like reading. Um, otherwise, Aragon was a huge thing in my family. Harry Potter obviously was a big thing for me as I was right at the, I started reading kind of right at the end when the movies and books were coming out, so I saw the seventh movies in theaters, um, but I always had all the books whenever I wanted them, so I was kind of right on that tail end there. Um, but other books that affected my childhood. I guess classics kind of did, because in middle school I joined the classics club that our librarian put on every Wednesday, and that was the only time I got to talk to people who were interested in reading books, and so that kind of is why I like talking to people about reading books is because of this classics club. So I don't read a lot of classics right now, but I, I'd be open to. Um, but I guess those were also a pretty big thing for me. It was just going to that classics club. Oh my gosh, Little House on the Prairie. That's what. My mother read me Little House on the Prairie, and I, I'm telling you, she didn't, my mother denies this every time, but I'm convinced that she named me after Laura Ingalls Wilder, because Laura Ingalls Wilder's daughter is Rose, and my middle name is Rose, so I'm convinced. Uh, but that was another book series I thoroughly enjoyed. We started reading the books of her daughter Rose, I started reading the books of her mom Caroline. Uh, we used to have so many of them, but now they're back at my parents' house, because technically they're my mom books and not mine, so I haven't been able to read them, but oh, those were another one that was a big impact. Lastly, number 10, what is an interesting fact about me? This is an incredibly good question because I feel like all the interesting things about me I've already said. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Um, so after high school, I took a gap year and th I mean, that's pretty interesting because no one where I am from really takes gap years. They either go right to high school to college or high school to a job. Um, so taking gap year was like, oh my goodness, good for you. And what I did on this gap year was actually kind of interesting. I moved to Kyrgyzstan, which is a small country in Central Asia. Shout out to Kyrgyzstan. And I was an English teacher there for a year. And I went with um, my at the time boyfriend, now husband. And we were English teachers. It was just the two of us uh, Americans and there were and the school was run by Koreans, but all the students were like uh, local Kyrgyz kids and It was so much fun um, It was such an interesting and great experience and then because of that experience I had the honor to travel to Thailand and Turkey and Kazakhstan um, So uh, fun fact about me, I guess I've been to a lot of I've been I've done some traveling and I want to continue traveling um, I've been to, I believe I've been to eight different countries other than my own, uh, other than the United States, and so that would be Canada. Um, Canada, Dominican Republic, France, Germany, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, uh, Thailand, and Turkey. I believe that's all of them. Yeah, so I've been to eight different countries. I am hoping to go on a study abroad in Ireland soon, and then I'm hoping to help my husband out with a project in Niger in the next couple years at some point. And then 
basically my goal is to get to every continent and my husband and I are also hoping to at some point take a trip to Trinidad and Tobago because that's where our honeymoon was supposed to take place but we had a quarantine wedding so our honeymoon was just a couple hours away from our hometown so which was still lovely but I'm still kind of like I really want I really want to go to Trinidad and Tobago um yeah, and I've got like a bazillion other countries on my list of where I want to go to, but those are just some of the ones coming up that I want to go to, and so I guess that's an interesting fact about me. I love traveling, I've traveled a bit, and I want to keep going, so. Well, there you have it. That pretty much essentially is my life story. The only other thing is I'm from Michigan, and I'm now living in Minnesota. There, now you know everything and anything interesting about my life. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting 20 years, I'd say, <laughs> on this earth. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found this video interesting, even if it wasn't specifically like book based or completely about books. I, I hope you still enjoyed it. Um, so that's why it's a bonus video because then I don't take away from bookish content. I'm just adding on top of it. Um, subscribe if you're interested in hearing more about my bookish opinions. Um, I'm coming up with a lot of fun videos, but if you have any video ideas, comment them down below. Um, just letting me know what videos you'd be interested in or what kinds of videos. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up if you feel so inclined to do so. And until the next video, I wish you all a happy reading.